Hi, everybody. It's Jeff Gray. Uh, sorry I'm not there tonight. I'm down in Houston doing some training. I'm still going to present my web mapping application I made for Crescent Bay Holdings. So let's move on. A little bit about Crescent Bay Holdings. It's a real estate and investment development company in the southwest United States, based out of Scottsdale. But we have land in Arizona, Nevada, and California. This is an example of Red Valley Ranch. It's a master plan community in progress in Maricopa, the city of Maricopa, Arizona. And this will all be broken down into um, different land plans. As you can see, different neighborhoods, all the way down to houses. They also do asset management for land, multifamily, housing, uh, office buildings, hospitality, and even mixed-use properties. And they're new to getting into urban renewal. But their main goal is to acquire and develop residential and commercial land in the southwest United States. So what is their need for a web mapping application? And I just thought an interactive web map could provide all the pertinent data to a specific land plan or to an entire region. So if they have all the data at their fingertips in a user-friendly way, they'll be able to have up-to-date, constant, point-and-click, easy-to-use GIS interface. Instead of using ArcGIS desktop with somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, they're going to have a hard time even finding out what parcel's what. I mean, you can't just click on one. You'd have to, you know, figure some stuff out. But it comes down to knowing where to buy and where to sell. I mean, that's the end game here. And the data that I have included in this app, I have U.S. states and U.S. counties, all of them with the population. And then the important stuff is Maricopa County parcels. This has almost 20 million records. And it has the parcel number, the address, the city, zip. And then the important thing is the owner, the owner name, owner address, city, state, zip, and country. Some of them live abroad. It's the home page. Um, it's pretty simple, not too flashy. Um, I wanted to keep it that way. I have the tabular containers, some widgets. Here's some links down to some other consulting companies and then our home page. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I wanted to keep it simple. So let's move on to some of the tools. I, inside the tab containers, I have interactive zooming to state, county, and parcel level. And there's links to important documents in the other tab regarding the site, uh, land plans, deeds, anything you can imagine, you know, how, how well it's progressing. Any Anything you get from the city, you can just scan and upload as a PDF and put it in there. And there's also a query fetch and reset time just to let you know how well your app's performing. And then inside the map, there's a base map gallery. Uh, so you can switch off and on whatever base map you want. Uh, there's a population filter. That's a little slider tool I'll show you. And then the map also caches itself, so it speeds up performance. It also redraws the value based on the scale. So that'll be inside that slider. It'll redraw the value. I'll show you that. And then it also redraws within zoom extends, so you have to pan and zoom. Everything's not going to draw. You're just getting, it's just going to draw what you see, and that speeds up everything, especially when you have so many records. And then also information pop-ups for every level, state, county, and parcel. So starting with the interactive zoom and redraw time, as you can see here, um, here's your interact tab. You just click on, you start at state level, so you click on counties and it'll zoom you down into county level. I have it centered on Maricopa County because that's the county we use the most. So when you click on parcel level, it'll take you all the way down. And then all these polygons are shown, or the other one's drawn. So if, if I were to click and, and pan one way or the other, um, that stuff's going to be drawn. And down here, it's going to show you well, get that thing out of the way. But down here, it would show you how many milliseconds it takes. Oh, there you go. How many milliseconds it takes and shows how well your web page is performing. And then here's the document links. Uh, this is where you can put anything you want. Um, right now, I just did a, a quick one for the land investment. And 
this is a link to a PDF file. So we'll open it up in a new tab and give you everything. And you can you can print it, do whatever you want, save a copy. And it's great for sharing with information with clients or, or other companies that you're working with, your partners. And you can use it as a data dump. And, but everything will have a spatial property. So when you when you zoom down into um, into a certain land plan like that Red Valley one, if we were to use that, um, you can have all your documents just pointing at the screen. You can have all your documents that you want on here, as many as you want. Well, probably not as many, but put a lot of them down here and they can they can look at it. They can see how it's progressing, anything you want. So this is a base map gallery um, Esri standard. I put all of them in there, including the Bing maps, just use the little Bing map code Here's an example from topo to hybrid, same area. You know how a base map works. Cool, it's a population slider. I had no plan on doing this at all in my document design. It's just something that when I got some advice on how to speed up really large data sets, this was one of the samples. So I just took it, run with it, and it, and it works well with what I want to do. So, And it's the only way I could get my... 20 million parcel records to show up was to use this so i kept it and it's really cool i mean right here it starts the top is 33.9 million and then you have zero i couldn't quite figure out how to get some other scales in here but you know halfway is what 15 something million 16 million so you just kind of got to guess but as you zoom states will disappear so as you zoom farther and farther down if it doesn't fall within here to here, the state will disappear and not draw. And if you zoom out, it, it, it looks cool too. And for the county level, same thing. You start at 3.1 million, you start pulling it down. Maricopa County, it, it disappeared. And then this county down here, what's that? Pima County, I think. And then, yeah, so that's how the population slider works. I thought it was pretty cool. And then here's the pop-up information. The most important one you saw for the, the state and county level, that's the most important is the parcel level one. Because the CBH principals, they need accurate parcel data to help their clients and each other. So if they need to know, if they want to build on this site right here, let's say this is a vacant site right here, but they need to know what all these who owns all these parcels around it they can just highlight them and, and figure out who owns them because let's say they need to build a well or, or anything like that they can find the data about the parcel and contact who they need to contact future expansion data we'd really like to have a parcel ranking system based on water and sewer infrastructure and that's turning out to be quite a task because nowadays they won't give you out that data because they think you're a terrorist and you're going to blow up the water and sewer line. But they'll give you the as builds. So they won't give you the GIS data so you can like do something with it, but they'll give you a picture map, which makes no sense to me. Because all that does is make my job impossible. Because how am I supposed to draw out an entire state's worth of water and sewer lines down to house level? It just, it, it take the whole class, what, years to do that? So if any of you know how to get that data, I'd appreciate it. And these are definitely going in here, the locations, Pinal and Pima County in Arizona, and then definitely Clark County in Nevada. Get the Vegas market. Um, some California data may go in in the future, but that data is harder to come by and it's more expensive for some reason. Um, we're trying to figure out a way to get it. And for the widgets, we'd like to be able to edit the parcel data on the fly for purposes of owner changes and everything. If we want to put something in there, we can, and maybe a note field. So if we if we had a note about a, per, a certain parcel, we could put it in there. And then a drag and drop widget. I saw that. Um, I couldn't quite get it to work, so I didn't put it in yet. But it looks pretty cool, so we could drop these, these points in that we get from... Hanley Wood or Belfiore Consulting, and it just tells you about how the market's going right then and there at the certain location. And it would really help with um, 
kind of visual analysis. It wouldn't really be network analysis or anything. Um, so yeah, that's where you could go and where we are going, at least for the locations. Um, if you have questions, good for you. I'm not there and I don't have to uh, stumble over any answers, so that's good for me. Thanks for bearing with me for this video. I know it wasn't great, but um, it's what I could do. So thanks again, and I will see you next week. Good luck.